What up, Beer and Sunshine friends? It's Beer and Sunshine time. And of course, we have the usual, usual uh, uh, crazy people here. We've got <laughs> Nikki Goldsmith, we got Susie Bennett, and tonight we have some special guests. We've got a couple of Scots from Three Bridges <laughs> Brewing. Where are you guys, in Venice? We're in Venice. In Venice. Three yeah. Bridges Brewing from Venice. Welcome, gentlemen. Thanks, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thanks. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, I awkwardly don't have a beer. Come on, Scott. I already spilled my beer. Take off your shoes. Why don't Cheers. you? You should grab one of your beers there. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at that. There we go. Cheers, Carol. All right, cheers. cheers. Yep. Wow. So that, that's how it is, I guess, in Venice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not as nice down Sharing, sharing, caring. Nobody's business. Oh, it's gone. It's craziness. Crazy. There we go. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> yeah, we're very excited to have these guys. Um, we we've, we uh, saw them recently at the Naughty Monk uh, two-year anniversary party. And, of course, we invited them to be on the show. And clearly, they accepted the invitation. And here they are. Thank you very much for coming, gentlemen. Thanks, yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you don't mind. You have these two lovely ladies to look at. Look at them. Don't look at me. <laughs> they really will go just fine. <laughs> And you brought us some awesome beer, which is great, which uh, I'm sure we'll get into here very soon. Uh, of course, I'm drinking Ashy Gang. What are you drinking, Nikki? Frogman IPA again. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Stuff. Susie? I'm drinking the Key Lime this time. I don't the, know, oh, so yeah. Maybe it's not it up. Either. It's not a raspberry. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. No, but apparently they're out, and I'm devastated. But I bought, like, a bunch of cans from... Um, from the store, so I'm still stocked up at home. So sorry if you guys don't have any, but I'm. <laughs> still <laughs> <just> good. <laughs> she, she bought it out. She bought what it. What about out. the Scots? I am drinking think? the Dry Irish Stout. Yes, it was yeah. good. Yeah, awesome. Really nice. how, how is it? You like it? Oh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. yeah. As you know, or maybe you don't know, if you've never seen the show before, Beer and Sunshine is all the, about the craft uh, a brewery scene here in the Tampa Bay area, and our home base is here at Big Top Brewing Company. That's where we're shooting from tonight and every Tuesday at seven o'clock live here on Facebook and. Um, you know, we have content also a little bit here and there on Instagram. You can check us out there. Uh, Nikki does an awesome job of putting up some really cool images and a few short videos and stuff with stuff that you'd be very interested in. Our Instagram's growing like wildfire. About to hit a thousand followers, guys. We're going to have a giveaway. Oh, yeah. I'm just That's saying, cool. I have breweries oh, wow. that are going to give us some free stuff to give away. Yeah, so yeah. if you haven't followed us on Instagram, follow us on Instagram at Beer and Sunshine. It's free for me. Yeah. yeah. And a little bit on, <laughs> little bit on YouTube. We have a little yeah. bit of content on YouTube. We've got some really, some of the older stuff is on YouTube, which is which is really fun. Uh, you know, hello to my, my pals, Billy and Christina, and uh, some of the other people that have helped me with uh, Beer and Sunshine over the, the past uh, couple years. Coming up on three years here, it's like two years and seven months that we've been doing this, and so we've got a lot of content, which will tell you all about the different local craft breweries here in the Tampa Bay area, which is always uh, moving and changing. There's, there's always new breweries popping up, and occasionally there's a few that are, you know, uh, you know, off the grid, let's say. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, tell us about Three Bridges. What, what, uh, I don't get down to Venice very much. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. The, you know southernmost um, Sarasota County brewery, right? So we're down there in Venice. Uh, three bridges named after the three bridges in Venice. So ah, which would not have known so, that. Yeah, so the, the city of Venice is really <laughs> From Sarasota had no it's idea. really considered like have you ever heard the island? You know, right? So mm-hmm. well, the island is it has three bridges. We got the North Bridge, you know, the Venice Avenue Bridge, and what a lot of people call the Circus Bridge. So. Oh. There's three main bridges there, so we're three bridges brewing because we, you know, we grew up in. My wife and I started the brewery, and um, we grew up in Venice, raised our children there. So yeah, we're we're cool. Venetians. I, did, did, I feel like did we talk to somebody from Venice not too long ago? Somebody was on the show even? Oh, I don't know. I'm from. I'm like near. I mean, I don't not in the Venice area, but I frequent Venice. Okay. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I live in Northport, and like that's like. <laughs> okay, I feel so like I'm just having yeah. a conversation with You're south I feel of like us. Yeah. A conversation with someone on the show. I could be wrong, which is which. Is, which wouldn't wouldn't be surprising. I got but, the memory uh, of a goldfish, so don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Still the only brewery in Venice. We are. We are. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I don't well, know. Those, that, Venice is that, that the Venice is where they have that little like. Uh, they have a car show like in the middle of town sometimes, like once yep. a year or something. Yep. Like downtown, old yeah. Cars and, stuff. Yep. Mm-hmm. and there's that, uh, is it called Sharky's? Sharky's. Sharky's. Yep. Sharky's. Okay. So, so Out by, by, by the pier in Venice, yeah. Gosh, was it, was it um, JW from the, um, remember JW from the, the, the home group? Does he live down there? No, he's uh-huh. up here. He said he lives like yeah, right he lives here. down the road. Oh, okay. Somebody else then. <laughs> Sorry, dude. But yeah, oh, by the way, yeah. So Brew SRQ, is it Brew SRQ? Yep. Yeah, Brew SRQ. Brew SRQ.com for your homebrew supplies. 
go see go go to their website and uh, contact JW. If you ever thought about home brewing, that's the place to do it. They're local here in Sarasota, and um, we also have a discount come with them. Beer Sunshine. Yeah, that's discount. great. It's great yeah. to have, a, so. here, have that here in Sarasota. It's a cool new model. You just put the new line and you go pick it up. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an awesome guy. Him and his wife, we met him at Naughty Super Monk, cool. and they're awesome people. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah they're nice little people. boys. Adorable, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. good, good people. Um, so, all right, so now I, I know where Venice is. So where are you guys in relation to that little that little uh, park or whatever, that downtown scene that I'm only familiar with? So, <laughs> yeah, so downtown Venice is sort of in, in the scope of Venice is, is kind of on the north end. So we're down south a little ways off the island mm -hmm. um, in sort of as you approach into the south Venice area. So... We're down, and we're actually, um, so it's Three Bridges Brewing at Off the Wagon Brewery and Kitchen, right? So when you go to Off the Wagon, you come in, and Off the Wagon is a 160-seat brew pub. We do live music five nights a week now. Do you guys do barbecue wow. there? We do, well, no. We have, we have barbecue on our menu. We have a full kitchen, full bar, live music, and we're the brewery inside there. So we have 26 taps. Because there, there was a couple here at Big Top that randomly, it was, this is a while back, earlier, uh, I think this year, I was having some beers in the, in the tasting room here uh, and uh, talked to this couple and they had, I guess, moved to Venice maybe a, a year before. So they've only been in the area for about a year and they were telling me about the cool places to go to in Venice that I, I had to check out. Okay. And that that was one of them, but they mentioned the food. And Our food is incredible. The beer is fantastic, Our chef is, but they were they were raving about the food. Our chef is incredible. He, we have a we have a brisket on the menu. We did a barbecue themed uh, beer pairing dinner inside the brewery. So inside off the wagon, we have a you know twenty one hundred square foot brewery area, and inside that area is a private dining space. Uh -huh. So you can come and kind of have dinner inside the brewery, you know. And so we oh, did we do cool. beer pairing dinners in there, and we did a barbecue. You know, with one of our, our pit masters there in Venice, he smoked some malt, we made a beer, and then the chef made all kinds of amazing barbecue. They never dinner, even so. mentioned that Off the Wagon was part of Three Bridges Brewing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. They were so in love <laughs> with the food, it's like they didn't, might not even know that you guys had a brewery there. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny because people will say, oh, all the beer is by the same person who makes it. And you're thinking, <laughs> behind you, underneath, behind <laughs> giant no, glass windows, is a lot of stainless <laughs> tanks. That's the brewery, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's yeah. So our model is that we're a brewery surrounded by a, a kitchen rather than a standard brew pub where the maybe the brewing is sort of in the back. I mean, right. our brewery kind of anchors that space sure. all around. So and we're dining in the bar area. You're located right next to right the movie theater. Yeah. Like, movie, okay, mm -hmm. so it's the same plaza. Um, I know people you know tend to be familiar with where the theaters are, um, but. Funny thing is, nobody knows what the movie theater is. <laughs> <laughs> we go to beer festivals. Where are you at? Oh, we're right next to the movie theater in Venice. Where's that? Where, where do you live? Oh, I live in right Venice. There. And you don't know where the movie theater is at. Yes. Yeah. I think it's a landmark, but I had Netflix, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So I think what else is um, like a good like, landmark so people know um, like the area. But so, the, you know, I mean, we're, we're in a plaza that has a couple of other bars, you know, and so, in, and then us, you know, and the movie theater. And then around that area, it's sort of, we're kind of, not in a ghost town, but in a space yeah. that's... And do you, do you guys have uh, do you have an outdoor area like a like a like a you know a, a beer garden or anything we, like that? We or? don't have a beer garden. We have an, we have two outdoor patio areas. One just off the dining room, and one that sort of sits on the bar side. Mm -hmm. So they probably uh, each side probably seats about you know, thirty or forty people. So we have an outdoor space, um, and then you know, like I said, we have a big indoor area, tons of live music. So. Mm -hmm. And you awesome. said you have how many tabs? Like we have twenty twenty six right now. Twenty six. Mm -hmm. Dang, that is a lot. And it keeps us busy. What kind yeah. of beers you got? All kinds. We like to brew all kinds of different beers. Yeah, what do you guys specialize in? What, what's your favorite kind of beer to brew? Whew. That's a that's a loaded question, it. right? <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> we 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 really do. Um, we, we come from a home brewing background, right? So our background isn't. Uh, we're not marketing to a specific area with a specific style kind of thing. Our thing came from home brewing, which is what should we brew this weekend? Something different than we did last weekend. Mm -hmm. And that was what my, how my wife and I kind of. Every Sunday, we were brewing once or twice, probably three times a month. Really? And we had How our garage set up uh, three and a half years. So not a long time in the scope of things, but we brewed a lot. Long enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing you know, two or three brews a week. In yeah, yeah, no, we, we brewed a lot. So we, you know, we basically converted our garage and and uh, and one of our guest rooms became a fermentation room. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So yeah. And at one point, my wife was like, "We'll just put the glycol chiller in the laundry room, and we'll do a whole full glycol thing in the family <laughs> room." I mean, he was really into like turning our house into a full-on brewery. So, um, but 
we've always had our own businesses uh, in in the Venice area, mm-hmm. and so uh, having a brewery at some point in that was was a conversation that we had quite a bit. You know, just sort of like we'd be brewing on a Sunday, like would this be a kind of beer that we'd have, or what would our tap room look like, and in those kinds of conversations. So it became something that kind of early on in all of it, because we just loved it, that we knew we wanted to make it a business, and so. You know, but we, we brewed all kinds of different beers, and, and we there, still do that. There's nobody else in Venice brewing, is there? No. And First and only craft beer. Yeah, brewery. and I don't know that there's any other in planning. You know, I mean, we talked to a lot of people who are, you know, are all around Venice and kind of would know, and I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, we would, we'd welcome somebody else to open a brewery down there, obviously. Sure, you know. of course. Well, you know, uh, you know I say this all the time. I mean, from my experience, <clears throat> you know, I'm really, really close with the guys here at Big Top, and uh, I've, I've, I've because of beer and sunshine, I've, I've had the opportunity to meet probably, I don't know, 40, 50 different br- breweries in, in the Tampa Bay area, sit down and chat with them for a while. It's a brotherhood. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's really a brotherhood. And, mm-hmm. and uh, the breweries that aren't in the brotherhood, are they stand out like sore thumbs and mm-hmm. they don't stay around forever. Yeah. You know, um, I think we're about to lose one here real soon in the, in the near future, which, but and that's all I'll say. <laughs> yeah. And when that happens, <laughs> happens. I'll, 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 re- I'll remind everyone that I said this <laughs> and, and tell you that I knew about it. But, uh, yeah, so. Hey, well, I, so. I, we, we know that. And as a matter of fact, I've sat up here with Mike. You know, many a night, you know, just call, we'd be up here having a beer and be like, it's talking to him. He's like, okay, let's go sit in my office for a minute. You know, <laughs> just like, you know, as we're talking about this that business. Doesn't and, sound like mine. You know, so, yeah, so he's, a, he's been a great, um, you know, person to lean on and ask in, info. I'm, I've called randomly, like, hey, you know, what do you do about this thing, you know, or whatever, you know, so. He's been a he's been a great resource for us, I guess. As a sure. you know, kind of a yeah. Well, he's uh, these guys here are always willing to help. Oh, all the yeah. guys here are always willing to help. Um, so what what uh, what uh, kind of activities or or let's say like weekly events? You know, do you guys do trivia? Do you do uh, you know what what do you have going on at Three Bridges? So we uh, Monday is trivia night. So our trivia is like Ooh, a smart. Trivia. They do smartphone trivia. Smartphone trivia. Our guy has actually won Jeopardy twice. What? So just saying. Smartphone I love Jeopardy. Trivia, really? yeah, you yeah, download so. the app on your phone, and then you know you know the answer. You buzz in and on your Whoa, phone. That's yeah, that's cool. pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and we no put all, walking we, up to there, writing it down, no walking up. You just do it right. Yeah, on it's your phone. instant, and they do all kinds of you games. That's like with a speed trigger word for me. I love Jeopardy. I'm really nerdy about mm-hmm. Jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, a lot of like boom, boom. The dream to be on Jeopardy. David, what is it? This on the first. So it's every Monday. No, but on the first. There's an event happening, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So we're, I'm on Team Big Top. I'm nice. Oh, yeah. right. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. We're it's looking forward awesome to it. We'll be Big Top, I can tell you that. It's not good for Big Top. Oh, well, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's, they might have got a short end of the stick there. Let's just remember that we're doing it for the people that are showing up. It's, you know, we're, <laughs> yes. we're just tra- as long as you put on a show, it'll be great. Oh, yeah, look, so. put an earpiece in. I'll feed you answers. Yes. It'll be great. I mean, yes. it sounds like cheating, <laughs> yeah. but that's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. sure. Just wanted to um, open the floor to you guys. If you're watching right now and you have any questions, on up asking, you can call in. This is 2018. Love you, but you can't call in. Um, but if you have any questions for Three Bridges, for Susie or Tommy and I, please leave them in the comments. We're watching them tonight. So ask us anything you want us to answer just to throw that out there. So um, can we talk about home brewing for a second? Sure. Because... Uh, so I've been saying I'm going to do this for like forever and then I haven't done it because I haven't had time. But I felt really like guilt tripped after talking to JW from <laughs> Brew <laughs> SRQ about finally doing this um, brewing kit that I bought from like Target. <clears throat> it's this tiny little thing, one <laughs> gallon. So finally this uh, past Friday, I decided I was going to do it. Um, oh my God. Like, okay, so like trying to keep it like temperature controlled. I was trying mm-hmm. to do the mash and it was like too hot, too cold, too hot. Oh, oh my god damn so I'm like doing this for like an hour and then so then finally like it was done and then I you know I took that all that out and then I did the boil and that was fine and then trying to like crash it like real quick and then temperature control it there I was like too hot too cold god damn like yeah. almost and so now it's in my cooler I get a cooler I put in the garage that mm-hmm. I've been trying to temperature control as sure. well. that's going all right so it's doing its thing. It's, if you, know, you can't do this, I have no faith why, that why my would, Why was the temperature control so difficult? <laughs> can't you, were you doing this on a, on a stove? Yeah. Or, so can't you just, like, adjust it? No. Oh, you don't have a pot with, like, an automatic temperature I, I don't. <laughs> oh, I don't. So, like, I just had my stove. So I'm sitting there with, like, my thermometer, like... All right, it's getting a little warm. I should probably take it off. <laughs> and then, like, doing this. It gets this. too high, and then it gets too yeah. yeah. I think we've all been through that for first sure. bad struggle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, our yeah. kitchen stove, I, and you just make a huge mess. Oh, mm. I, so it, I, yeah. I did this, and I, I tried it. So right now, it's um, like I said, it's in the cooler. 
I'm trying to keep it at the right Sperm temperature. It. It's, I'm, I've been babying it. Really? And I didn't want it to get any light, so I took my son's um, old Kylo Ren costume okay. that he had, which is kind of like a dress. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I like, <laughs> and I like put it on top of this like one gallon thing and wrapped it up. Nice. So keep the Good sun idea. away. And so um, this is what I've been doing for the past few days. Everyone told me it's going to be the most disgusting beer I've ever had. You never what know. Kind of said the first beer is always the worst. It's a blonde so. ale. Um, I mean, that's what it says. But yeah. how was your? So, okay, so like when you started home brewing, um, did you have some gross beers? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah, and and, and the did. thing is, is that, you know, as a home brewer, you just you're so happy that you made a beer. <laughs> you give it to everyone. You're like, isn't this awesome? <laughs> and then they're like, they're, everyone's like, awful. Yes, yeah, really, really good. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So you can taste your sweat in this beer. Yeah, because right generally people love free beer. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. if you're just giving people beer, they're like, it's free. I love this. But <laughs> no. So, yeah. yeah, my wife got me a Mr. Beer kit from, like, you know, they yep. saw at the liquor store yeah. at Christmas time. And it, it's because she knew we talked about this years before we actually started doing it. And it kind of sat in a box in the garage. We actually moved, and I found this box. <laughs> And at the new house, I was like, we're doing this. Let's do this. So I pull it out. Everything had expired. <laughs> so I'm, you know, on the Mr. Beer website. I'm ordering new Mr. Beer stuff. And then I'm searching about how beer is made. Because I'm thinking this seems a little like not how beer is really made. You know, you extract and you put it in a plastic thing. And so I'm realizing that beer is made with grain. And I'm like researching this whole thing. Well, before the ingredients for the Mr. Beer kit arrived, I had my full all grain homebrew kit set up in the garage and we'd already made a beer because it was like you know so i had we had all our friends come over i had all the instructions written out so that everyone could participate it was i'm super <laughs> so you talk about oh. Stuff, oh. make a beer see what happens yeah we made the mr beer, beer kit but we actually ordered grain and a mash ton and all this other stuff to like you know to do an all grain sort of sort of beer because the other ones come as like like already like powder or something right yeah syrup. so they're like syrup, syrup like you're you dilute so it you, you dilute an extract okay. mine wasn't syrup it came with like powder. grains it was, yeah. no, it came with grains, grains yeah. Yeah. yeah um and so I, I mean i come from a science background i work in a lab um i also like i work with a bunch of like yeast and microorganisms like all the time okay sanitation is like super huge right so I tried to like be super careful because everyone's like, "Oh, you're gonna contaminate your beer," and I was like, "No, I will not." No, because you know, you know, good practices. So that's <laughs> that's probably why your beer is gonna turn out okay. I, we're yeah. gonna find what, out. What did you, Susie? What did you use to like as a? Did you get a kit or you just buy just separate ingredients or whatever? Because like, grains you in a bag. To do or like? No, it was it was a kit, um, but it came with with grains. It came with the yeast. It came with like so a little sanitizing mm -hmm. kit um, and like a little bag of like hops. And so the directions on them were not very good. It wasn't a Mr. Like Beer or whatever. One they have of those. a lot of good. A lot of um, so the yeah, Kushin yeah, Beer yeah. sponsored, by the way. We mentioned the Mr. Beer kit. Like at least <laughs> over the years here, probably. Yeah, at least if you're listening, send us right? money. Right? Yeah. 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 How many but, breweries has Mr. Beer started? Right. So <laughs> yeah, they got that dream going for a lot of people right, for sure. <laughs> no, it was just a kit that I got from Target. Um, okay. I think the brand was like Refinery or something. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. and. Um, I took like a beer class at the USF, like okay. Sarasota campus, and so I learned a lot about it. So I have, I guess maybe I don't know if I have maybe a little more knowledge than the person just starting out. I have a lot more. Um, I would say yeah. A lot more knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't under In all the right areas, I would say. You know, she, she's very good friends with uh, Josh Wilson, the head, uh, you know, brewer here, sure. the beer master, <laughs> who started beer as a brewer, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Beer sensei. So we'll see. Um, I'd like to think that we could do a beer reveal, and I will bring my beer here. But if you guys hate it, and we all spit it out at the same time. It's going to be recorded I'll be live for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, we should do it for sure. You should definitely bring your what beer. What if it's here. terrible? This is going to be a <laughs> whole. I've like... never had a food in or a beverage. Well, eh. I've, I've never mm. really had anything that I didn't like that I wouldn't eat or drink. So it's going to be called beer and spit shine. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'd yeah, be okay. shocked. If I don't like it, then it's really bad. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, trust you. I have faith in you. Okay, yeah. so the ingredients are there. It's supposed to be a blonde ale. So you know what? I'll 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 bring it in when it's ready. I'll bring it in. I won't try it Heck before. Yeah. I won't try it before. That, that way we awesome. all know at the same time mm. and we can all be disgusted at the same time. That's <laughs> so great. We'll just cry together. Yeah. Anybody all right. who's watching okay. and, and, and what do we have? Three viewers? One viewer? Two we viewers? We have five. Like, <laughs> we have five yes. yes. yeah, Best show yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, any of the five people that are watching this, if you think it would be an awesome show to drink her her first beer she's ever made live on the show, let us know. Please, tell but, us. Okay, but save my ego because <laughs> cause if it's bad and you guys just say, oh, And if any of you oh, five honey. people would like to taste that beer and be on the show, let us know. And maybe we can <laughs> squeeze one of you in. As you can see, we might have to get a bigger couch 
but we'll figure it I'm out. I'm all about <laughs> that. <laughs> all right, I'll, I'll commit to that. You know yeah. what? I'll do that. I was just going to hide my failures, but no, I'll bring them out on the show. <laughs> and I'll bring it in. Put we it okay. wrong. It's awesome. called being honest. Right. This is yeah. what humanity's about. This is the beer I made, and it's not perfect. That's right. That's right. So um, I just finished my beer. I almost feel like we should cr- we should yeah, crash. Yeah, definitely there. should. Let's, Let's do, do it. That. But, uh, but hey, Scott, let me ask you. So yes. uh, or or other other Scott. Scott, How do we refer Scott. to these guys? Just Scott. Yeah. Just, just Scott. Yeah. Scott one. Scott two. Someone just answered. Well, so <laughs> I actually have a, a bunch of questions for for Scott number two. But for Scott one, it sounds to me like your wife is a huge fan of craft beer. Um, like yeah. Someone from Three well Bridges, versed. which I would probably assume is your wife, said, drink our beer. <laughs> so, maybe they What's up, Corey? Hey, Corey. Hey there. So, I was going to ask a question about you. Yeah, uh, so my wife and I started the brewery together, and she is one of the brewers. It's her and Scott that brew. So she works oh. in the brewery. That's oh, yeah. That's what I was going to ask. Does she work in the brewery? So, it sounds to me like she has knowledge of So we still have it. another business awesome. that we run. And so when we started this. What's your other business? What, what else do you do? So we make products for interior designers. Really? Anything that they design, we make. So what kind of very products? cool. Upholstery, drapery. This is hilarious. I don't all know who this things. is, but it says "Pretty White Girls." If you are in danger, blink into the camera three times. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brian. <laughs> Brian, Brian, who? Brian O'Brien. Brian O'Brien. Brian O'Brien. Oh, Shout yeah. out to Brian O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just talking to you. I, I don't think I fall into that no, category very much. No, there's an S. He's yeah, assuming that's you're wrong. I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We love you, Brian O'Brien. Could it be BK? It's not BK. No way. Brian O'Brien. So <laughs> sorry, sorry. We, we, the I'm like, are like I'm trying not to tonight. blink right now because I don't want anybody to. <laughs> this think is not that. a signal. <laughs> 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 so, so. so anyway, we have we have another business. So we started this because initially our, our brewery was going to be small. It was going to be mm-hmm. part time and things. We got into this, partnered with with Tommy at Off the Wagon, and it became something a little bigger and a little faster than we had planned on, which was fine. So. What we were doing initially is we did the build out together, and then when we opened, what we would do is I would show up um, after work and meet her about four or five in the afternoon, and then we would brew and do the brewery until whenever we were done, mm-hmm. pretty much seven days a week. Hmm. And so um, Scott came on board, and how I've long ago, Scott? How long has six you, months? Six, six months, months ago. Seven so months yeah. Recent, then, huh? Kind cool. of, yeah, kind of saved my life because you know. <laughs> 80-hour weeks were starting to be a, a thing, you know, so... It's not really sustainable. You know, yeah, <laughs> even, I mean, don't be wrong. It's fun. Our, our place is yeah. fun to be around in the evening. People are there having a blast, and, you know, we're brewing next to bands playing, and it, it's not horrible, but it's, it, it's a lot. It's typical in craft beer, though. It's very typical. You know, like I was, I was telling you earlier, I worked here for about six months here at, uh, at Big Top in the brew house, and, you know, these guys I always say it. Nobody works harder than these guys. You know, from my own personal experience, I haven't been, I haven't watched you work, right? But uh, I know that across the board, in all of the local breweries here in Tampa Bay, everybody works their, their butts off. They work mm-hmm. insane hours, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, not the most comfortable conditions. I mean, it's 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 Hot, 80, sweaty, 90 yeah. degrees, 95 degrees cute. outside. Not Inside cute. the brew house, <laughs> it's you know, 100 degrees like all the time, probably. So. So we're, we're spoiled because yeah. we have an air-conditioned house. Oh, really? <laughs> it's always, it's, it gets up to like 74 occasionally, but no, we're inside. Okay. So we nice. don't, yeah, so we're, we're in a conditioned space, but um, Scott came on board and, uh, and allowed, allowed me to sort of have more of a real life. And so it's really been Scott and Corey that have been brewing all the beer. So Corey is involved in brewing, for sure. That's and, great. Yeah, That's she's, great. she's in there. Huh? So. And then other, awesome. other Scott, so you've been there six months now, yeah. and then you've been, how long have you been brewing now total? Because I know you brewed Four before Four or five that. years, so Four I was home brewer for a couple really? years, yeah. And you're, yeah. I've had your beers, and your beers are, your beers are, your beers are fantastic. What, um, what type of beers are you You're missing know? out on this commentary, man. <laughs> what, what's happening? What's uh, happening? Notice more? just the girls are drinking. <laughs> what's wrong, guys? Oh, yeah, let's make it a beer. I'm empty. I finished my beer. I'm kind of... Don't worry, we're going to change that, Brian O'Brien. Yeah. Well, when are going to be? I like your name, Brian O'Brien. <laughs> that, that, don't even worry about that. Okay, I was going to say. <laughs> this has got to be it. It's very cool to me, what like, to always hear about guys, female brewers. Which, which so we brought, we brought our Hefeweizen. Ooh. All right. It's called Wunderkind. It's a metal winner. Right? Yeah, yeah. Easy drinking beer. stuff. We got, yeah, we got a medal for this at Best Florida Beer. Oh, so oh all right. Okay. Aww. We brought, we brought this Best one. Florida Not beer. The, what is that? That's a beer fest. Uh, it's a that it's a beer competition that they do for the breweries in Florida. I've never heard of it. How have I never heard of it? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, Big Top's got a bunch of medals on the wall. Yeah. 
So best Florida beer. Where uh, out of like where do they, they do it in Tampa? Yeah, in Tampa. Where's I actually Tampa heard about it? this. Yeah, in Tampa. Uh, Sunday, I went to a random suggestion in Brandon called Bootleggers Brewing. Bootleggers. And uh, I stumbled like in there from yeah. like a couple yeah, I'll of weeks. Yeah, take some. Serve them up. It's not too far from my house, and I went in there, and they awesome. happen to have the uh, number one rated beer right now for I guess the previous year. And it literally all the beer I had from them, I was like wanting to like pull my hair out. Which it was place? so good. It's called Bootleggers. They Where's started uh, Brandon, in Brandon. Brandon, Brandon. Um, they're moving soon, actually, into a new location uh, by the Brandon Mall. But they literally have the most delicious beer I think I've ever tasted. They can't do growlers right now because they don't have a license. Um, but they're moving. They're trying to get a bunch of licenses for yeah. stuff. Mm. Oh my god! Yeah. Literally, their uh, coffee porter puts everyone else's to shame. Like, <laughs> just quit your job. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's called really? Chicago Typewriter. It's one of the oh, best Chicago Typewriter. It's one of the best coffee porters I think I've ever had. Um, and they had a uh, Berliner that is a rainbow Berliner, which was oh, a, rainbow. it was raspberry, lime, and I believe orange. And I was just yeah, like, rainbow sherbet, yeah. oh yeah? Awesome. Like that, my yeah. God, like, yeah, good. whoa. So tiny little hole in the wall hidden huh. gem. That was a great thing. But anyway, yeah. that's your nice. Sorry guys, we're on team. <clears throat> okay, so this one he says, I have a vice and it's called yeah. what? Wunderkind. Wunderkind. Mm. How do I say that? So, yeah, who, How, so it's, it? it's Wunderkind. Wunderkind. So it's a recipe that we actually had as home brewers uh -huh. that we brought to the brewery. You okay. know, so okay. sounds good. Um, yeah, we uh, we uh, it's a beer that we love. I mean, we don't really love to make it. We love to make it. It's a pain in the butt because we do That's a bunch true. of different Labor temperature well. mashes. You know, so we try to brew it kind of traditionally. So oh, I like that. Yummy. I like oh, how yeah, the bison's good. are a little yeah. more on the. Um, we do it as like, an kind of like a little more hazy. It's got an yeah, so interesting flavor to it. Yeah, it's really good. We um we do a uh, a bunch of beers that are um either food inspired or for you know sitting down and having with food. So mm -hmm. because our vibe is a little different than a standard tap room. The tap rooms have obviously food trucks and things, but you know we have a chef that we work with, and so a lot of times you know we're we're brewing beers that are that are for either not necessarily specific dishes, but we'll we'll talk to him about some of that and. Is Some this of our, paired, supposed to be paired with anything? Well, so no, I mean, I'm in my estimation, this is one of the better food beers. Like if you're at any restaurant and you're wondering what you should, you know, drink with your meal, a German Hef, I mean, a German style that, mm. you know, Hef, the flavors of the clove and a little bit of banana, but the, the refreshingness of it, I think mm -hmm. just cuts through a lot of, whether it's fatty or bright or, you know, spicy or something, this is a, this is a beer that kind of handles all of those. It's not banana competing banana. either. Right, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. I get yeah. the banana. Mm -hmm. Huge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. I like this. Yeah. What's so. the uh, percentage? Was I about to ask? Yes. We're, we're all like we're twinning the same tonight. right now. <laughs> yeah. You know? Me and Susie. <laughs> we do it, like I think this. we do it right at five and a half. At the same time? <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're about to sync up. Yeah, we're, oh my God, we just... We literally yeah. almost had three times up in at a the row. same time. Okay, we're gonna All stop right. talking now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Beer periods, guys. That's what this is about. <laughs> maybe, maybe, we're should, maybe we should keep you guys in opposite ends of the couch. Yeah. We're, we're too close right now. Close. We're like yeah. like meshing right now. Yeah. Like our brains are just like. Uh. <laughs> I can All use right. some of your smart juice though in my head. That'd be nice. <laughs> Oh, this maybe is good. I, I like that. I should be sitting next to you. <laughs> I need it more than you but do. We, do we, we need to split say, you apart? <laughs> yeah, probably. We were going to say, uh, what's the ABV seven. on this? Yeah. Uh, we do it right at five and a half. Seven. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, not, yeah. Too, not too late. That's yeah, dangerous, though, because it's a good one. Taste that strong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we have a tendency to, like, whenever we brew beers, it's like, we do we do a lot of imperial things there. So Because we do a lot of light beers as well. So. People that walk their front door aren't always there for the brewery. They're there for the band, or they heard mm -hmm. the best cheeseburger in town. Or the food, yeah. Or they're, yeah. you know, That's awesome. they're going there because their friend just likes to hang out, and you know, we have, you yeah. know, we have full bar. So, and then they they have an accidental well, you brewery guys have experience. Full bar? Do you have liquor yeah. too? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So how much trouble is that? No, it's good. I mean, it can be trouble. <laughs> you know, sure. Yeah. When you throw a liquor in the equation. <laughs> and so we we do a lot of beers that are crossover beers. So someone's there, and if someone's there and they want to drink a Bud Light, that's available for them. But what we try to do is give what? them a craft what? alternative. What? What? Sure. No, you got a gateway. Sure. No, so no. so six seven. I've said this. Pilsner or a lager. No, we do. Yeah, so, so we have a Pilsner or a lager. Go, oh, yeah. Bud Light. No, I got you, man. No, this so is we we convert. I I I say this to Mike whenever I see him and we talk about this, but. Um, we should get thank you notes in the mail from all the Sarasota breweries because we, we're not bragging, but I think a lot of times we are someone's first craft beer. Be the converter. Because we're, they're there accidentally. 
They're there with a friend. They didn't get drugged to a brewery, to a tap room. They're there because the band was good, and they're but like, what I is think, all this but happening? I think the liquor, it's, I'm okay with having liquor, right? So you have liquor. Mm. Sure. So they're like, oh, wait, you have all that weird crap beer? No, I'm good. Let, oh. me, just have a, let me have a Jack yeah. and Coke, right? So they're drinking that. They go, hey, man, what do you normally drink when you drink beer? And then you slide them one of your sure. easy yeah. drink beers. You know, but having a macro But we have beer that. We have the macros, beer, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not okay We're slowly... With that. Yeah. Like a nightclub. Yeah, I mean, so we're slowly transitioning we are. from macro. Oh. Our, our, you can't just take it away all of a sudden cold turkey. You just kind of transition. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we came in and we're, we, we convert people a lot. So we have a cream ale that, that converts oh. a lot of folks. Oh, cream we Sorry, we do a, first on my list then. So <laughs> we, do a, um, we do a 100 calorie low carb light lager. I need that. Melody. We have a, we have an amber Shit. lager. We do a pilsner. And we do a Mexican, Mexican lager. So we accidentally became a lager house. So we do a lot of different lager beers. And so if you're there for that style of beer, we have something for you. And, you know, our staff is trained in, you know, okay, so someone comes in and says, hey, give me a Bud Light. Well, here's a few beers you might like. And that's, that's how we sort of... So talk to me about the Mexican lager. Because I, I, for me, I, 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 I see a, a, a clear distinction when I drink... Um, a Corona, when I drink a El Presidente or or whatever, uh, Dos Equis, any of the, the Mexican lagers, those definitely have a little slightly different taste than your regular, you know, in a Budweiser mm-hmm. or something like sure, that. Sure. Whatever. So what, what makes those a little different? What is that, what is that, what 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 makes those what makes a Mexican lager as opposed to a regular, say, a German style lager or something like that, or American style? I mean, I, Scott can add to this or take it, but I, I'm, in my estimation, so when you drink pilsners and lagers, a lot of times we're using, you know, pils malt, light malts, and doing you know those clean things. Um, you know, the Mexican lager tradition is German. Mm-hmm. It's actually a Vienna lager. A Vienna yeah. lager. Yeah. So the, so so when you look at the BJCP. Yeah. And their their classic style for dark Vienna lager is Negro Modelo. Yeah. So it's not a German beer; it's a Mexican beer, right? So because so the Germans came, I, I don't know the whole story, but so what we use is we use Vienna malt, mm-hmm. and then you know a clean lager profile. So you get a little bit more of that sort of bready malt thing, mm-hmm. right? I mean, the, Vien- the Vienna malt, uh-huh. the, the more Vienna malt, <laughs> that gives it that signature like are Mexican they, lager. Are they a little sweeter? Or Touch, not little, too much. I want to say that was very crisp. I've got yeah. a shout out. More, Hi, more. Dom from Levin. Thank you for the free beer last week. Okay. And also, yeah. hope you guys are enjoying your stickers. Love you. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> my, my very good friend who's from, from Germany, like, she still has a strong, strong German accent. Like, she could, I'm pretty sure she could have lost it a long time if she wanted to, but for some reason... <laughs> some people just hold on to their ass. Yeah, no, I know. I know people. I, I remember, this has always stuck out of my mind, this is literally why I asked the question, it is, it is not just from my own perspective, but this person specifically. Um, she, We were out drinking somewhere, and she would always order, like she would, every time we drink, she'd order a, a Mexican beer, like a mm-hmm. Corona or something like that. Mm-hmm. And one day she said, she goes, you know, this tastes... Like German beer, this tastes mm-hmm. most like German yeah. beer to me than any other beer, and mm-hmm. and it was like a Corona or something like that. Mm-hmm. So I'd say really that interesting. because it it is, a, I mean, it definitely has German influences, mm-hmm. and we're getting very fresh. When we get beer from Germany in bottles or whatever, a lot of times that has been on somebody's boat for a really long time. So yeah. we have all these sort of old beer flavors that we associate with what German beer is, and I think when German people come here and drink German beer, they're like. That's just not the same, you yep. know. So, yeah, they, yeah, whereas, whereas you get something that's, that has that German inspiration that's fresh because it's you know on our same you know continent. Yeah. So, so what else do we have for sampling tonight, guys? <laughs> so we, we brought <laughs> not to push you forward. <laughs> yeah, this. So we brought a um, we brought a this is called Banyan. So we have it's a it's a blueberry lemon sour. Oh my god, that sounds amazing! And then we have our sours. we have a double IPA, just a nice all citra. Yeah. We tons of popped. All, I'll take all, do you, of it. Yeah. Do all, all of the it. above, Drink please. It all. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Do you do yeah. a lot of canning, <clears throat> or just we like kind of just started? Or? Yeah, okay, it's just so. in house. We don't. Yeah, so we don't do any distribution yet. Okay. So. All Very our cool. beers in house. So other, other Scott, other yes. Scott. So <laughs> you've been there six months now. Yeah. Um, what what recipes cost? have you brought to the table, and what since you've been there? Any anything that you're really proud of, or any, anything interesting? Yeah, or? I'm proud of almost every. But I mean, the Mexican lager is one of the one, first recipes I made. You know, because we were kind of lo- looking to convert those oh. conversion drinkers over, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we were like, 
<clears throat> you know, we have an amber lager, we have a light lager, we have a cream ale. So what can we do? So we want to get those Corona drinkers. So yeah, the Mexican lager was one of my first ones. But I mean, I'd, I'd say we pretty much collaborate on almost all of our beers. I mean, there's almost no beer that we go. I go in totally by myself. I mean, we're always, you know, what do you think about this? And what do you think I about apologize. that? So. Your wife's name is? Corey. Corey, Corey. So right. do you and Corey collaborate on the beers? No, Scott make? and I. Scott and I oh, usually, so, well, I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'll make a beer and I'll make a recipe and say, what do you think about this? You know, mm-hmm. so we'll kind of bounce ideas. I mean, because we have, obviously, two be- who, two heads are better than one. So, yeah. I mean, if you got How two you, good brewers, then why not? Yeah. You know, why not? Yeah. How do you come up with your, like, ideas? You just kind of think, like, oh, this sounds really good or, like. Yeah, it's, it's you know, whatever you, you know, you mean you got to pick a style first and. You know, so you can either brew if you're brewing a traditional style, you have a strict set of guidelines, or if you want to get whose idea was this? Happiness. This is incredible. Oh, it's this guy right here. This, this is amazing. Master. Yeah, it's you know good, what this right? Tastes like oh, you guys, you guys didn't get to try it. Blueberry sorbetto. <coughs> mm-hmm. Whoa, yeah. there's good, lactose good, in it too. Good liquid, right? Okay. Mike, Mike and uh, you guys know Mike Sandra. and Sandra. 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 Yep. Yep. Mike and Sandra, good liquid. They have uh, like a smooth, like a slushy machine. <laughs> yes, right? I heard about this. Yes, goes round and round, and you get this like frozen. So they do this. Um, what was it? It's a lemon, a lemon, a lemon berry. They do a lemon berry in that machine, yeah. and this literally is exactly what it tasted yeah. like. But imagine it, like sl- slushy. Like, like slushy. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I highly yeah. recommend so I s- every single brewery get a slushy machine <laughs> and throw some, Figure out how to throw some beers in it. Call <laughs> Mike. Call Mike. Yeah. Get good liquid and Bradenton. Okay, we talked to Mike. To yeah, I don't want to throw any shade at Mike. Good I saw people, that on man. Facebook. I was like, oh, beer slushies. That's kind of a gimmick. But then I went. <laughs> It You're is like, no, no. so good. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Yeah. How in it's the ridiculous. World, I mean, like, I got a brain freeze. I was drinking it too fast. It yeah. was, it was, it was so really good. good. But this tastes, and, and I remember it's the fantastic. flavor of it, and I thought it was really good. This is amazing. This is delicious. So it's great to be able to you taste get, it you in, that's a, all in a true beer form. So that's our third, our third red. So we, like, we kind of, we kind of, yeah, we made it. We loved it. We yeah. made it. It was oh. good. We're like, oh, or this. We did not enough of this. So this is like our. Our final. The yeah. tartness yeah. is yeah. so perfect. Yeah, not it's too not sour. Too bad. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't like you're not puckering. It's got that little sweetness. Mm-hmm. To get, oh to, the lactose gosh, helps to like good. kind of There's smooth up. There's lactose in this. Right? Lactose, Usually, yeah. I hate lactose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, just a little. Just bit. enough. It, it yeah, probably smooths it out. Smooths it out. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Who's idea was this? Who had this come about? This one. Just a collaboration. Well, yeah. it started as my yeah. recipe, yeah, well, we and then like, yeah. yeah. Once we, we, it's, once, it, it's once we make it, we're like, okay, okay, this is good. We sold a bunch of it. This yeah, is great. And we all great. we you know, we probably drank more than anybody else. Yeah. And it was like, okay, yeah. so, so many people and me for a long time, unfortunately, and now they're my favorite style. Like sour beer, automatically, like nope. Oh, nope, I mean, it nope, sounds nope, like nope. it turns your stomach. It's, it but sounds they're horrible. Delicious. But sour beer is really just like a tart fruit beer. Like, can we rename? The style of beer to tart fruit, please, <laughs> tart, yeah. because yeah. it's yeah. amazing. Yeah. If you like anything that's just crisp and refreshing, like and and you know, yeah, you yes. know if, if get you, you a sour if beer. If you think about if you think about just something like let's just say you go to the store, you go to your average grocery store or gas station, whatever, and you go to get something sweet and 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 refreshing, you end up buying some some like uh, like a so. Um, I, I will, I guess, uh, date myself, but you get something. So back in the day, we had wine coolers, right? Yeah. Now, you, now you have I love me a little bottles and James. Now you have yes, little bottles and James. I'm still like trash. Don't play with me. So now, <laughs> now you have hard sodas, right? So you yeah. Have hard soda. All of that shit gives me the worst heartburn I've ever had oh, in my life. It's so but I have 100%. never had a sour beer from a brewery that that bothered me. Like mm-hmm. they never. all they all go down mm-hmm. so easy. And they taste delicious. And they have there's no hard, you know negative after. Effects. No, these yeah. are perfect so does, for Florida weather. Like they're so hot. Oh like, this yeah. Is yeah, so refreshing. Yeah. Hot yeah, weather beer. Yeah. We have a shout out by the way, just to interrupt. We have Michael saying Scott and Scott are my dudes, great hey. birds, and great people. Hi guys. Right. So, hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Michael, for watching the show. We appreciate you, and I know Cheers. Scott and Scott appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs> what is the percentage on this one? Because usually it's it's tend to be a little lower. Five percent. We did five. it at five. Damn, yeah. you guys yeah. are trying to get me. At a certain point, it's like three point four. Is it really even? Yeah. Okay. I completely agree. <laughs> I know. Like, like, at least give me five. Yeah. Like, uh, we we did me, five. Like, five yeah. is my, like, bottom. Yeah. Like, if I I'm think... doing a craft beer, I'm like, if you go below, you can do maybe a 4.5 if you're yeah. really going to impress yeah. me. But, but otherwise, I'm like, it, this, is this worth the drink? Yeah. yeah. Do you think this yeah. tastes so good, though? They could, you could, if this is a five, just, could yeah. you go six? What happens could if you, you go, go six? six? <laughs> so with sour beers, you could. The way we do this, you probably could go six because really the... You know, the, the, you'd have to adjust the fruit, but you, you could go six and get the same beer out of it. Yeah. You know, we, we do, do I started to say, we do a do lot of high alcohol challenge. beers. Yeah, we do a lot of And um, have really, I think we do a good job of, of a lot of people drink these. 
we do imperial cream ales. So I love cream ales. Our, our, our cream ale is cream is ale. we sell we sell more of our cream ale than any so of the, it's like our sort of our top seller, right? So really? a lot of a lot of people do adjunct imperial stouts, you know, imperial stout with which we do. We love to do those, but so we thought. Well, cream ale is such a big seller. What if, what if we did? did we, we, we did we not. not. We did not. <laughs> so, um, but we did. Our first one was Ambrosia. So we were at uh, Corey's aunt's house. And Ambrosia is a southern yeah. marshmallow pineapple. Fruit. Oh, it's like that fruit, yeah. like that yeah. salad. Coconut. They take you basically take coconut. I've had that at every Easter. And every and, and mini marshmallows, <laughs> right? You put in um, uh, what's the the tangerine. Uh, wedges, no. The anyway, you put in tangerine. It's it's a specific kind. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Um, cherries. You pour pineapple juice over it, and it just yeah. becomes this. It's a salad. Mail. It's a southern it's thing. So we mail. made a imperial cream ale at ten percent. Ten and ten or ten and a half. Yeah, really? and 10%? we it, yeah, Greenish. and we brewed it. Well, we brewed it with roasted pecans. That's the other thing that's yeah. in it. And then we can it on we were Clementines. Clementines. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank oh, you. There we go. Appreciate okay. you. Clementines. So we it on um, we use clementines we you know pineapple coconut we put all that in the fermenter cold and sit in that for a while and oh we got gosh. this amazing it turned out great it, since then we've done strawberry shortcake we've mm -hmm. done it we did apple fritter local uh, our local donut person is yummy's donuts started out with like <laughs> you're, you're welcome donuts Yummy's donuts in Venice <laughs> Alan his name is Alan yeah. and he makes uh, amazing donuts he's great and then um, so have, it's a truck, right? I've seen the he has he has a, a barbecue truck. truck, yeah, like a food truck barbecue truck thing. So and that was a collab with Corporate Ladder. Shout out Blake. That's right. Yay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blake and Krista. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Krista was on the show. She okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Good. Blake's so. a very nice guy. Yep. We met him in Naughty. He's all right. We also yeah. uh, Blake <laughs> and Adam. <laughs> and Adam, Blake yeah. and Adam. Yeah, Blake and Krista. Good so. people. I love this though. Like I, was, I almost want to cook with it. Also, you know, the one thing if you want to do like like a real. See this suggestion. I don't brew sure. beer. Just, just smack me if I'm wrong. But like blueberry and lemon pound cake, right? Like some kind of icingy, cakey, like a little underlying a little flavor of that, yeah, like a little extra kick extra of it. Oh, yeah. I want to like straight sure, cook with it. Yeah, yeah. Like, it. We need to drink this beer before it gets. Oh hard. no, no, don't worry. We yeah, no you know what? I should empty out my big glass. Our sample glasses should be I, pint glasses. That's that. where I think you went wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna think I'm gonna finish this out and then I'll leave room. Yeah. it there's a, I'm very picky when it comes to my sours. And yeah. This is. Well, you know, sour beers are really beer. traditional beer, so. Mm -hmm. um, well, all, all beers used to be sour of, a long yeah. time ago. Belgian beers, they've been making sour beers in a different really? way. Sure. You know, Cantillon and I'm going to. Trey Fontaine. Trey Fontaine. Yeah. They've been making them for, you know, 100 Centuries, years. Centuries, I guess. Uh -huh. what is yeah, the, uh, well, the history of sour beer beers. Wild fermented. Um, I was about to say it has been like most beers before, like a long time ago, used to be sour beers mm -hmm. because of the way you couldn't keep the contamination sure. out. Yeah. So everything used to be soured in some kind of way. Yeah, we do it in a fast yeah. way, or this isn't by like any means. Sours, a, yeah, or? we're kettle souring. You oh. know, it's our keeps our brewery clean. So yeah, you what don't is want the, uh, other Hi, Doug. Lupulin yeah. Grin. We're drinking. So Doug Richards. Yeah. Appreciate you, Doug, Doug Richards. Doug Richards. Hello, Hello Doug Dougie Richards. Fresh. <laughs> Thanks Hi, for watching. All right, I'm gonna empty this out. Doug is my, Doug is my buddy. He's, he's <laughs> my he's my my closest friend in Charlotte, or one of my closest friends in Charlotte. Doug. Yes. Doug. Hi, Doug. I talked to talked to Doug probably more than anybody else there, but but I forget my 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 friend of 20 years plus lives there as well. So, but uh, anyway, what up, Doug? <laughs> yeah, to this, I'm dying for this. This is What's your IPA. One? Double so IPA. The, so yeah, double. It's, a, it's a double. It's eight. Okay. Four, I'm hanging with the fruit. Yeah. yeah, I might just. Mm. Do you want? Do you want my glass? To I just chugged different? mine. So. Yeah. Well, it's nice and cold still. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, so that's a hundred. So. Yeah, it's a hundred percent citra hopped. It's a double dry hopped. What is the? Oh, my old eyes can't read that. Eight percent. Eight percent. So yeah. what's with the name and the art? Because it's different. So. Yeah, so um, as an artist over here. <laughs> oh, okay. It's jack of all trades. I actually that was the I that was just when we first made it, I did the um it smells amazing. I did the we have a we have one ball tap handle that was somebody else's tap handle that I just wrapped in it's black like a pub tape. Tap, yeah. yeah. And so I just I drew that on it as Loopy Lingrid. I didn't I didn't actually write the name, so that <laughs> I just sent the I love it. I love it's it. Yeah, it's a good Whoa. it's a really nice Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So really you can't go. I mean, citra hops don't. They don't let you down. So we and we put a lot of them in there. We're like, should we do a little? No, we should do a lot. Just, <laughs> just, just really, yeah. Not like the Completely. salt guy who's like this. You're no, we're not like, like this. We're yeah. just 
pull. So our, it's, it's our version of that dude. tastes about as balanced as balanced could be. Like it's it's really it's it's I don't want to it's not I don't want to say one note because that almost sounds like an insult, but it's really consistent, mm. like super consistent, and the flavor is is just delicious. Really good. And it's cloudy looking. Looks good. Yeah, look, you know, it's a, the, the, the hazy style, you know, beer. We, we brew that, that New Englandy kind of thing. We kind of call them, yeah, we like them. We call them modern IPAs. So this is one that Scott and I collaborate as far as that goes on quite a bit. Um, New England IPA, we're not New England. And right, that style sure. beer started Very there for easy. sure. And the, the, the beer makers that started making it, um, I gravitate towards those styles as to some of the ones that have sort of become that style. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we sort of, we try to brew a beer with a little bit more structure than some, still a little bit of residual you, bitterness. Are you guys a fan of Blue? Oh, yeah. Right? So For sure. Focus, I focus. Focus. All right, so. so. You gotta <laughs> tell me, the cross eye is happening. He's with that. Oh, we all love God. focus, yeah. yeah. All right, so I, so I do a little bartending right now at Mr. Beery's. Come see me Thursdays and Saturdays. <laughs> Thursday nights is ladies' night with some open mic for musicians. That's a good time, a lot of fun. Come, come see me. But anyway. There we have focus, and usually at the end of the night for my shift beer, I will do a focus or, if, you know, something something interesting. But if there's nothing really too interesting, I always go back to focus because it's, it's a really stable. good beer, solid, it's consistent. Yeah, yeah. This, and that's that's a seven point something or other. That's mm -hmm. the, almost the Is same ABV, yeah. right? But uh, I tell you what, I, I apologize, Kluzik. I'm sorry, guys. I would take this over focus. Uh oh, wow. Yeah, we we go. Are, take it over yeah. 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 Really yeah. proud of that. Would. This yeah. is this is impressive. This is like really yeah, impressive. We, thank you. Yeah, we we're, yeah, we that's, really like this, this one. A solid, solid mm -hmm. beer right here. Yeah. yeah. Like if I found this somewhere, I would this I know where you can great. find it. <laughs> I'm just saying. If, if I found this, somewhere. there might be a. I, mean, I know a guy. I know a guy. I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. This is this is what I'm. This is the one that when we put it on tap. So we still do beers in small batches. We um because we have 26 taps, um we have several different sizes of brew houses. Sort of the way we have our our brew house set up. So we can do beers in either one, two five or ten barrels as we have all this fermentation space so and the beer that we saw a lot of we brew a lot of obviously and then this this beer sells really well but we still have small batches keep and fresh. just keep it fresh and it, fresh. you know it, it allows us to brew the next beer but you guys so, always have this beer around we do not always have that beer oh. around. No, yeah. That's a mistake. Just like well, no, we have. We will have. We have. It's, it's definitely. We have this rotation of beers that we do. We have our sort of our core beers, a rotation of beers that we put in, and then the ones that we just like. You know, Scott and I are talking about making a beer. We're just, it, you know, it's that sort of end of the we brew day. What do you have in your core lineup that that compares to this? So we actually have a beer called Skyway. Yeah. And um, it's a citra mosaic hopped beer that still is a little hazy. It's a little more. It's uh, it's still an eight percent beer. It's a double IPA. It's a different beer. It has um, more hop structure as far as uh, a little bit more bitterness in it. It's not quite as, as soft as this one, but, but I yeah. like the softness of this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah. really do. Yeah, so we, we kind of shot for the softness. We kind of mm -hmm. lower, without being overly sweet, you know. That's what I'm saying, like where it's even. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious. I don't know if we've asked this question before, but I want to start bringing it up. What is your favorite brewery in or outside of Florida? Oh man. Besides your own. I don't know if we really mm. like that is, that is favorite beer not your own. Yeah. Actually, It'll help me like lean more into your styles, I think too. So, so I, I mean outside. So I, you I'm do a, top three if you can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, um, I do like Calusa. I think my favorite brewery. Part of it is because they were like, and it was the brewery that I went to early, like before that. Yeah. is Green Bench. Green okay, Green, Green Bench. Bench. Yeah, they, so they got a lot of sours, right? Yep. Yeah. And they say do all, they do a lot Trillium. of Trillium. Good choice. Trillium Good is choice. yeah. So the, my favorite beer in the world, I always say, is Double Dry Hop Congress Street from Trillium. I think that is probably the who's Trillium. They're Trillium's in Boston. In Boston. Yeah. It's a oh. sin. Awesome. I go there every year for work. I've been there four times now, but been they Trillium. close at uh, five p.m. What do you mean they close not at anymore. five p.m.? Okay, if they so, open later because yeah, every time I've the, been for work. So Canton, it's five. Yeah. So anyway, I, I know all of this because our son goes to school in Boston. Okay, so. good. Tell me, tell me the good. <laughs> so I'm going next year. And I, do you know I, when you would go, go there, into like the the, the Boston and I'm trying to think that was the I think it was Congress Street wherever they were at. Yeah. And they had that. So they're selling, I don't even know, 60 barrels a week in yeah. cans it's or something in that ridiculous. place. And you walk in and it's like a 10-foot bar. They, they have like the smallest, 
and there's there's no tap room. You just walk in, you buy mm -hmm. your cans, and you leave. Um, they opened up around the corner, like a I don't know, fifteen thousand square foot, two story, you know, restaurant now. So good for them. My I son just stood in line for an hour to get into the bar, though. I've been to Harpoon like plenty of times, which yeah. is pretty close. I mean, they're in Boston yeah. and they're a bigger brewery, and love Harpoon, but I've always wanted to go to Trillium, and every time I've been up there, I'm there for work. Yeah. Mm. So by the time I get out, it's five, yeah. and I'm like, <laughs> like yeah. crying inside because so I've heard nothing is such but a good amazing brewery. Things. They're like so like three Floyds. I've heard of that brewery. Sure. Hmm. And they're like world famous. Trillium, so Trillium is like up there. I've never heard of them before. Yeah, they clog they my Instagram feed twenty four seven. No matter where someone lives in the world, they have a Trillium beer, or the they're paid wow. stupid money to yeah. get that yeah. beer. Yeah. The interesting thing is that they sort of hit the market big, you know, in in the beer nerd world with their hazy IPAs, and they were doing them um, ridiculously well. But they have. I don't know, thousands, like 50,000 barrels thousands. of sour beer happening in their brewery that, mm -hmm. that has been happening for like four or five years that just, like this program is just getting up and going. So they're doing a lot of like wild fermented beers and things like that. So. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I like wild Anyway, sorry to yeah. interrupt your No, no, your, so, uh, but, but Green, Bench, I was like, was, Green Bench was a big one for, for me early on as far as, um, <clears throat> I mean, I had, I love their beers and Surrealist still is just like, I had, it was a moment in my beer life when I drank a beer <laughs> and I was like, I didn't know this could happen with beer. How about their tap room, though? They're, they're, no, they're, and it's they're, a Their whole beautiful. facility, so when I was uh, working for the guys here at Big Top uh, this past year, I made a delivery up there. We, I brought a bunch of six tools up there for, I, I forget what it was, and then I, I brought some stuff back, I think. And um, I remember they were going through some renovations there. Like, they're expanding mm -hmm. their tap room like they're crazy. They're expanding? Oh, yeah. yeah. They took over the building. Yeah. Well, That's when. I know. Uh, I, it's like it, it's, it's been now in the works. Yeah. It's been I, in the works. I thought so, that was there not too long ago. So where where the tap room was, they had the beautiful outdoor space, the yeah. building next door, which I think they've kind of had a part in. They're like where they have like where they would put the can like the like the movies and stuff yep. like on that wall. So that building is now like going to be a two story tap room, yeah. and they're they putting extra fooders yeah, and stuff in there. Really? So there, yeah. are they still keeping the same like one? Like building then, like the same one tap. Same room? location. Nope. Yeah. It's going to be kinda like kinda just making it bigger. Well, there's going to be a thing. Yeah, it's just they're it's expanding. Their 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 eye, their eye for design is is on another level. I Those do. guys. I love Green Bench. Mm -hmm. I, I, gosh, I forget. I think that building used to be. Oh man, I have such a shitty memory. That <laughs> building used to be something, and it used to be like like an, I don't know, maybe like an old firehouse or something. Mm -hmm. it used to be something inter very interesting. Mm -hmm. And they made it what it is there, and they they took a lot of like uh, I think like old wood and things like that, and they they, they use that it's a to make beautiful it space. Yeah, they're doing space. something yeah. crazy out yeah. there. It's going to be yeah, the most beautiful okay. brewery probably in the Tampa Bay. So I, I gotta go yeah. check it out then pretty soon. I've been there. I've got field trip. Uh, yes, because I've had some Hi, really Green bad Bench. memory. I went with a few people do that show? I don't want to go back with. And <laughs> they're, they're, they're on the list. Yeah. St. Pete's a great memories. a great walking town too. So yes, oh I love downtown. It's a great spot. You know, our so. When you have your own business, you don't get to, you know, take two week vacations and things like that. So we've kind of gotten into the group of three week, three day weekends, right? Yeah, yeah. So thank you. Babe. There you go. So, yeah. so Corey, I've been an entrepreneur for the past eighteen years, and I've always told people the only thing, the only downside is no, I get to go out of town for exist. like three days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tops, so and you, you just get to do it maybe more often, but you don't take anyway. So that was our our getaway. Is one of ours was to go stay in St. Pete, and go out to the idea was to start at Green Bench. And then just work our way back through, and you know, you go through like where the state theater is. If you start mm -hmm. the right time, you get to hear all these great local bands and drink PBR out of a bag, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> go, <laughs> go, <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah sure, you know, yeah, brown yeah, bag yeah, and a PBR, like and then. Oh, okay, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking like, okay, like wrapped in a bag. No, no, so like a I'm, can and a, anyway. Okay, like I'm thinking like a like water <laughs> bag. Yeah. In my yeah. mind, I was picturing like literally liquid in a bag, and I'm like, but yeah, why? No, sorry, <laughs> sorry, that was a bad visual, maybe, but you know. And then you hit, get to hit cycle and have a beer, and you know, just cycle's good. Yeah, so there's so many places in Saint Peter. Yeah, I just tried this one here, and this is fantastic. It's it's like super smooth. It smells delicious. I just want to keep smelling it like all day. It's, it's so what about, um, and it's eight percent. I was gonna say, what about you, Scott Two What about what are your <laughs> breweries? So at the moment, my, my or top ever? Florida brewery is probably Coppertail. I've liked that yeah. since I got it. They're right by my house. I love Unholy. Everything about that Unholy gets yes. in trouble. It's Unholy gotten me in trouble. Unholy is trouble. Unholy yeah. 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 Their whole their whole that whole marketing scheme with their artwork is so cool, and the two story tap room that's that's awesome. Um, I'd say my top two for out of state, either Odell in in Colorado, uh, or Jolly Pumpkin. 
Jolly they Pumpkin. Do, I've that's heard the, that I think that's Jolly the, Pumpkin. Where is Jolly it? Pumpkin is in Chicago. No, I'm sorry. They're in Michigan. They're in Ann Arbor, I believe. Yeah. And they are the country's first sour, only sour brewery. Wow. So they don't, and then they, I think they, the countries? I think they, the, in the Americas, the first brewery that only does sours. So they don't do any clean what beer. What about, um, how, how, when did they open? Uh, Few years ago, I think, but I mean, oh. a while, yeah. I mean, I'm only asking because I know, like, we have inoculum around here, and they yeah, only but do they also do they clean beer. Uh -huh. But they do they do clean beer. But yeah. Jolly Pumpkin is straight what's sour, what's only it? sour. That's it, only Jolly, only sour. And then oh. they, they, they kind of merged with another brewery, so now they have Jolly Pumpkin that does sours, but a part of them is also another brewery that does clean beers. But what is, can what I what find them at Total beer? Wine? Clean beers, no Brett, no lacto. But Jolly Pumpkin only does sours or Brett beers. That that's all. I've been prompted to say you guys brewed something incredible. Today, so you have to talk about that. Yes, we did brew something incredible today. We did. Right, yeah. Let's hear it. You brewed it, guys. So today is uh, Sierra Nevada. About a week ago, did a like a call to arms kind of deal. Um, they're out in Chico, obviously, and they a lot of their employees were affected by the wildfires out there. Uh -huh. um, so they had a call to arms. They basically worked with a lot of the the distrib distribution, the raw mat companies, and say, "We'll donate, you know, materials to you if you brew this IPA, brew our recipe." And you, we'll, we'll reimburse you for it. So you don't have to. Quite a few the, breweries the, are just. 800 a, a breweries. 800. I think it's filling it's the up my biggest field collaboration like, day in the history of that's brewing beer. Wow. So 800 breweries today that's brewed crazy. the same exact beer. It's called Resilience IPA Butte County Strong. And uh, so all the breweries that are brewing it are also going to put it on tap. 100% of the proceeds wow. go to back to California. Every dollar. Affected. Every dollar. So, yep. Yeah. Awesome. So we had we had a uh, four firefighters from. Um, the, the station, Station 26 in Venice, wow. that came out and brewed with us. So we're going to put that on tap in a couple of weeks, and all the proceeds go back out to, to yeah. California. That so is, that's incredible. Shout out, yeah. shout out to Sierra Nevada yeah, for doing that. Too. That's yeah. that's and big they move. also donated $200,000 worth of clothing to people who were affected and did like a whole Thanksgiving dinner. Did anybody who lost their home, they came out to the brewery and they could they fed everybody. So they've, wow. they've done a ton of stuff for people that's out there. So this is literally one of my really favorite cool. things about like the craft yeah. brewery and like yeah. industry yeah. is it really yeah. is so collaborative. Everyone's mm -hmm. got each other's backs. Like. Yeah. That's incredible. What's happening over there is is terrible. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. And the so, fact that 800, 800 breweries, breweries. Wow. with yeah, probably without a thought, we're like, yep, we're gonna do that. And yeah. we're not talking about. So we're small. We did a you know we did a, a, a batch that we will do, but we're talking about breweries like you know Magic Hat. Oh yeah. You oh. Know, yeah. I mean, okay. big Calusa. breweries are doing. Yeah, yeah Calusa's yeah. doing it. You know. They they were part of it. Um, I want to say uh, Copper Tail was part of yeah. it. Motor Works yeah. is part of Motor it. Motor Works. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember the list, but yeah, I mean, there's some giant breweries that are not just doing batches, ten or so. twenty, or they're doing uh, hundreds of barrels wow. of this beer, yeah. where every dollar will go back to the fund yeah. that's here in Nevada. So it's really cool. That's the best thing that's about beer and craft mm -hmm. beer in yeah. general, and like the community that it breeds is that. They're good people. Yeah, and we yes. rely on that community to, to drive Our us. Good people. So yeah. we can't survive without them. So yeah. to give back is is nice. It's yeah. you know what? Yeah. It's one of the very few industries in the entire yeah. world, yeah. I would say, that it's, has mm -hmm. the competition isn't there. It's like how no. can we help each other and how can we grow and how we can we support each other? And that's why it's exactly. so powerful. I, it's taking no. over the world right now. You know, right, people that used to never drink beer hmm. are doing it yeah. because I've of, did like a lot yeah. of like research on some of these things too and it's very common I mean I know what here in the area like this is where I started drinking craft beer and I got exposed to it that it's very collaborative everyone helps each other out like it's just amazing but the more I researched the more I found that this isn't just a local it's thing it's here. like yeah. it's like Crash brewing like wide that everyone is just there for each other. I think that's mm -hmm. so important yeah. to be yeah. like good people to put out good in the world and yeah. especially in the case of the wildfires like that's I think that's incredible. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that it's people um, helping people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in starting in, in in people that are involved in craft beer tend to be really giving folks and so mm -hmm. one of the things that we've that we've done and our brewery has been centered on and our partner Tommy at Off the Wagon is very community minded and, and, and sort of charitable kind of things is that so in our first year of being open um, our charity sort of of choice is Habitat for Humanity mm -hmm. and in our first year we were able to raise a little over fifty thousand wow. dollars to build a house so we're doing house that beer built <laughs> and That's awesome. um, Believe it's in a, the power of beer. Always yeah, say. right. Believe so in the power of beer. We have so we're shooting for finishing the the house this year. So that's coming up in in March. Our lead up to that is is. Uh, we're trying to raise the rest of the money, and so, uh, but we had a great turnout for it, and to be able to do that and give back to the community in that way um, has been awesome. But you know, we're getting we're going to do our brewery to brewery family feud. It's coming up this Saturday, I and said, um, I'll be there in your ear. Yeah, I'll so also be there. and and <laughs> you know, and that's going to be a great way because we're we're asking the breweries to come in and sort of you know, you know, compete for their for their charity too. So. 
You know, this is the whole thing about what charitable giving. What other breweries are going to be there besides Big Top and you guys? So Big Top, uh, Darwin, Corporate Ladder. Naughty Monk? Naughty, Naughty Monk. Like I'm sorry, Naughty, Naughty Monk. Monk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Corporate Ladder is going to be there. Is it, Chris going to be there? Is she going to be part of it? Oh, she's going to win Probably. the whole thing. Yeah, sure. think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the microbiologist. Yeah, like too too I'm telling you, why am I not tapped in? Why did nobody recruit me? All right, you nobody, know what? Nobody knew. You know what? Nobody thought of it. <laughs> Dual bachelor degrees, but whatever. Yeah. You know, nobody whatever. thought of it. Nobody <laughs> thought Disregard of it. the Trust smart me. girl, but okay. <laughs> Headhunters. So my thought is, you, you don't have to be unity. smart to win Family Feud. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm just thinking, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. You gotta <laughs> know. Yeah. You gotta know how many people <laughs> said how something people crazy said to. Stupid. What do yeah. you think of when you know? I don't even know what the yeah. We're we're so you know. Shout out. To he put together. He did get our um our okay sir. Oh. Technical difficulties. <laughs> um, so anyway, he put together our first anniversary party, and he's doing this one for us too. And it's, I think it's going to be awesome. Yeah, shout out yeah. BK. Love yeah. you. Head, What's up, head, BK? That's why hey. his genius, his genius wife married him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. She's like, I'm gonna get all down. the smart Yeah, right. Things. That's it. That's it. <laughs> all right. So if I come through to go visit, I want like a special table with like a rose on it. Will you guys treat me like a princess when I a rose? Table? Yes. Actually, so yes. you can you can. <laughs> so I don't know <laughs> about the rose. Okay. If Susie shows up for the Family Feud thing well, no, and we tap <laughs> hands, could she take my place? Like, like, what's the ringer? Way? Oh, wait, let me, like let me, well, losing, let me just check the rules. If I, if if I, I do, yeah, so there's so terrible. Rules, yeah, so. There's no, I do so terrible, <laughs> could I tap her in? It's a brewery to brewery family feud. There's no rules. Yeah, there you go. There's no rules. So you you can, you I need to phone there. a friend in real life. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. Susie I need a lifeline. Yeah. yeah. No, Susie, I'm going to tap you in probably. You, you should definitely come, either way. I'm going to crack a few jokes and tap, tap, and then you're in. Tap, tap. I'm telling you, that would probably be the best thing to do. What? What in the world? Oh Danny Rooster food Free truck is food. here. Are you feeding food me? With some amazing food. food. I feel so spoiled Come right now. Come on in, Chad Shirk. From Danny Rooster. So, what is this? We have venison burgers tonight. What? what? Venison burgers from Danny Rooster here. Oh, hey. The company. Burgers, yeah. I don't know if I've ever Every had Tuesday venison night. burger before in my life. No, I don't want venison And you can find oh, Danny Rooster you. at Calusa Brewing it. Company oh, yeah. and Brew Life. Ooh, what are, you know, what are they're fine oh, brewing establishments You got beans. You, all you get is beans. <laughs> I get beans. Okay. Holy <laughs> crap. I got burgers. So, I got yeah, beans. We need, what to, are you we need to take okay. a little sample. Uh, let me go grab some. Uh, and then we <laughs> here, somehow let's try. we're at the eight o'clock. We'll share that. We'll share that. Why don't we yeah. have a sample? Yeah, I'm about that. to drink the rest yeah, of this growler. I'm taking a TV bite now. Thank you very much. This is delicious. So cheers. Like cheers. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. What do you? Wait. What's what spicy? The one you have in your hand. Oh, this one's spicy. Uh huh. Oh, oh, it's got like jalapenos Not on there? Not spicy, you got me. Not spicy, I got you. <laughs> Delicious. Cool. That's All right, good. I got you some silverware right quick. Yeah, Here's so we're hitting that 8 mm-hmm. o'clock mark. Um, is there anything you want to make sure you guys shout out really quickly or talk about besides the Family Feud? Your Anything else you want to do before we no. close it out? And really our Family Feud thing is, you know, we just want to make that a successful thing. It's the first year of it. We're not going to, we're going to, you know, we're not going to, uh, we are going to do this again. So we're trying to make this the first year and make it successful. So we want, you know, it, we'd love to have more breweries next year. Yeah. So yeah. we want to make it like a thing and, you know. So one more time, the dates and times. So it's December 1st, Saturday. Saturday. Uh, two oh, to six. six. This Saturday? It's coming up, it's yeah. this Saturday. It's this yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Okay, and what time to what time? It's two to six. Two o'clock to six o'clock. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's $10 on Eventbrite. If you look at, uh, go to eventbrite.com and search Brewery to Brewery Family Feud, you will find it, buy some mm-hmm. tickets, yeah. bring a bunch of friends. There's VIP tables. The brewers are bringing swag, so there'll be a bunch of stuff for you to like take raffles. home. We're doing it's raffles. For charity, guys. It's, it's for charity. Everything's yeah. for charity. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, Susie, if you show up, <laughs> we're ra- yeah. we're raffling Saturday. off a brew day, yeah. so that'll be a brew day. You get to pick the beer and come and brew it at the brewery. Yeah. Um, Krista made a, like a an amazing so cool. Florida string art thing that says Her "Drink beer from here." That is, is it is amazing. Yeah. Same thing as I a mean, ladder, but it just says "Drink beer from here" with the Florida. Really? Thing. Yeah, it's really, it's really awesome. cool. So, I, I think uh, she in, it wasn't even. Com- Affiliate with with uh, with Corporate Ladder, it was she donated it herself. Yeah, put in I'm sure like a million man hours. It's, to make it, that it's incredible. She's crazy talented, but that's, yeah. that's awesome. awesome. So, yeah. that. So, yeah. But anyway, we're we're hitting that end time, guys. So um, thank you so much for watching, everyone that's been here the whole time, or if you popped in a little bit. Um, we are here live on Facebook every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Uh, we will have someone awesome next week. And does anyone have any closing well, thoughts? I, I don't. Other than believe in the power of beer. And, Cheers uh, to that. We'll see you next time. Yeah. For sure. Thanks for All checking right. us out. Thanks, guys. Awesome. See you soon. Bye, guys. Thank you.
Goodbye, the internet.